Okay, uh, today I wanted to show you how to uh, create your own custom library. Uh, for example, uh, you know, if you have a particular peak that is not present in the NIST library, uh, for example, in this case, uh, I have this particular compound uh, called uh, BAPT 4TMS. It's a uh, benzene pyrene tetrol. Uh, the 4 TMS derivative and uh, this particular compound is not present in any of the libraries that I have uh, so if I do a library search like this find library you know it gives me a poor hit and and I'm sure that this is not the compound that I'm looking for so um, the compound that I'm looking for is this one it's uh, benzene pyrene tetrol the 4 TMS derivative so uh, so how do you create your own library uh, and you would need this for many reasons uh, one of the uh, one of the reasons would be that you're analyzing for this compound uh, in your mixture and uh, you know you want to make sure that you have a good hit right uh, like a good spectral match so um, there are two there are two ways uh, that you can do this uh, one of the ways is using chromillion only and uh, and the other way is using chromillion and the NIST uh, MS search program okay and I'll show, uh, um, and I'll show you both the ways so the the, uh, the first way of use uh, by using chromillion only is you know you uh, make sure that you're on the mass spectral pane then you go to library and then you go over here and then you say create new library okay so uh, let me name this library as b a p t dash 4 tms or let me name it dash 2 because i have i already have dash 1 so and i click okay okay now this particular uh, spectra is stored in that library called BAPT 4 TMS 2. Okay, but you need to add it to your MS library uh, screening, uh, you know, processing method. Basically, you need to add that library in your processing methods in order to search the library. Okay, so uh, the way you would do it is in the processing method, you would click add over here and uh, you need to remember this uh, you know where the library is stored so the library itself is stored under computer uh, C drive and program data okay and Dionix and and nist libs over here okay and there you have it you know this is the library we just created just now so bapt-4 tms-2 you click on that and click ok so right now the library is added over here okay so as soon as I right click and find a library and nothing shows up let me see what's going on okay let me do this again okay nothing shows up let's try it this way okay nothing shows up let me try it this way Nothing shows up. Okay, final library. Nothing shows up. Okay, let me let me do this. Let me do this. Let me do this. Uh, let me remove all the libraries first, and because I was playing around a lot, uh, let me add it once more. One more time. Let's try. If this works. Program data. 
dynamics list libraries ppt click ok ok hmm <clears throat> let me try and remove all of this try to add Okay, now I realize what has happened. You know, even though I added, uh, even though I added it to the library, you know, I I think I did not add the spectra. So you know, add spectra. So the spectral count is zero right now. Okay, so you you need to add the spectra. So I created the library, but it, I did not add any spectra. Okay, so let me add the spectra. Okay, and now if I do a library search. Hopefully you will find. Okay, there you go. So there you go. See, nine 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 nine. You know, hundred percent because you know that's the only thing that's in the in the library. So it gives me a perfect match, right? So if I refresh this, if I refresh to, so refresh is F five. If you press F five to refresh, okay, just remember that. So it, you know, it gives me a good match, nine nine nine. Okay. So hopefully by my mistakes you understood how to. Uh, how to create your own library uh, you know, using the Chromedian only okay so uh, let me stop this video over here because you know <laughs> it has gotten a bit too long uh, but hopefully you understood how to uh, add your spectrum to the library and and uh, you won't make my the same mistake that I made of not adding the spectrum to the library okay so uh, in the next video I'll show you how to do it with a combination of Chromelian and the NIST MS Search uh, tool or the NIST MS Search program, which is, I think, more powerful. Okay.